Here we go, starting the next video off strong. That little guy's on its way to the property. Time to get some more work done. Once again, using my firefighter buddy, good old Dickie. But we got a lot to get done today. We're also going to, we're finishing up some driveway stuff to make everything good and legal and pass inspections. And then we also have to get the camper ready for the winter time. So we're gonna be making some trips to Lowe's, show you how we're handling all that. But we'll go ahead and jump over to the action and my kids gonna love, hopefully uh, maybe Dickie might at least let the kids sit in the mini X over there, but we'll see. Time to get to work while everyone's still asleep. Coming off the 24 hour shift to keep moving. Oh, by the way, since most of the people that follow us loves our Fords, uh, 4,000 miles on it was already in the shop. Hmm. It's too bad. Got everything done here. He's about to start digging for us. Hey, Dickie, you got anything you want to say if anybody needs some help with this type of stuff? A thumbs up, not like, hey, my name's uh, Jonathan Dickey. Uh, I do this as some side hustle. Uh, I got to make a payment on this. If you need work, hit me up. Nothing? Yeah. Yeah, if they need anything, just give me a call. If I can't figure it out, I'll find somebody I can. I'm guessing just Facebook's good, so I don't put your personal information on the video. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so one thing we did have to do, we had to get 40 feet worth because we want this big entrance here for whenever we have trailers and everything. Since we're going to have a detached garage, it's going to be able to be big enough to hold anything we could ever haul or want because the garage could be more than big enough for the camper. So... He's gonna do this up. I am actually gonna leave. We're gonna come back and see the progress here in a little bit because we gotta go get all the stuff for insulating and getting the camper ready for winter and everything. But uh, we went 16 inch because it was only $500 for two of them versus 18 inch, which everybody else has 16 inch all the way up and down the road. And the only drainage area we really have, you see there's barely anything right there. But right here there's a lot, but it's where the road is angled and it comes down into this spot. So yeah, that's a pretty big spot, but that's off the road. It's not from the ditch line or anything. So we saved about, what, 200 bucks? Going to 16 instead of 18? So, all right, but we'll let this man get to work and show that he's just the greatest guy in the world. He's also the guy that helped me put in the water line, so. All right, guys, sorry for the wind, but Mother Nature has been a pain in the backside with this wind here lately. But we've got it here, as you can tell, with how much we had to add right through here because there is really no drainage through here but just to make sure everything passed inspection and everything uh because they originally thought we needed it, but then we flattened out some of that right there and i don't think we really need it but anyways <laughs> so after paying dicky buying all the pipe and everything i think we're 850 into it and it's 40 feet worth and we actually put that sign there just uh to make sure we realize where it drops off because we had enough extra gravel to where he kind of spread out there, which I'll end up having to move some of that because, well, we want grass there eventually. So we're gonna just pile that up here at the beginning of the driveway. And all the way over to here, now this actually looks like it has a natural runoff where, like I said earlier, all the water runs off the road, but 40 feet worth of it, all the work done and everything. And all I did was help basically bring these over here the drainage tiles and only 850 I feel like that's pretty solid right there heck yeah all right now it's time to go up to the camper about the whole getting it ready for winter let me show you how mother Na mother nature screws up everything but i will give you the proper way to do it because i try to do it really quick and well in this area that we have is never windy literally my whole life growing up here it's almost never windy the past uh, two, three weeks, it's been 20 to 30 mile per hour winds, which we never expected. So the cheap way that I did it isn't gonna quite work out and we're gonna have to spend a few extra bucks, but I'll explain all that here in a second. Just like the last video where I said, this is basically all people do with their trucks or is the biggest thing they do with it. Well, here we are again. First step, oh, oh, he got out. Little man got out and just his phone. Your mommy's up there trying to dance, is that dancing? No, it's no. So last year we made a mistake because I was just trying to be cheap. We went with that and it fumbled as soon as it rained. So one of these two, three. Dude, you gotta stop doing that, man. It sounds like you're hurting. You gotta stop randomly screaming, dude. 
All right, so we went with this right here because my wife, she has a big fancy degree and something about this will reflect the heat back underneath the camper. So I feel like you made it up. Yeah, I did. How'd okay. you know? I feel. So we're gonna put it all along here, obviously go underneath. I'm just throwing a couple of these up just to get them somewhere. We're even gonna box in this area, but then kind of make like a door back here to where we can still store bikes and everything over here. Then go all, obviously all the way around. See how that works out, which we got like actual ductwork tape as well to go ahead and tape it to keep the heat in even better because it works below freezing. So I guess it's time to get to cutting and try to make it look halfway decent. It'll look a little bad to me being white and not like being white. it doesn't blend in with the camper. Mm. <laughs> all righty, now that we're here, we've bought all the materials and everything. Well, here, let me act like uh, I didn't just shoot the beginning of the video, <laughs> but we bought all that material. It was all lined up perfectly around the whole camper, the whole entire camper. Oh. And one thing I did forget is it did cost about another 20 bucks for all this, which our water line is wrapped in this, which I just put all that stuff there for extra security. There's no reason I actually have it. But in this, and then I put the insulation around it. So, uh, and all of this I think costs roughly $200 for all this stuff. Now granted, a lot of this stuff is floating around and it does look messy, but all this was covered up, every bit of it. I had all of it secured. Now, I didn't have it all taped or anything, but where I said we was gonna do it cheaper without the two by fours and nail it all into there, which would've been just fine until out of nowhere, all of this wind showed up. That It's never windy here. But look, it bent that one fully back, but somehow all the wind is gusting right through here, through here, knocking that back, then knocking this one down, and it just tore everything apart before I could go buy the two by fours, because I was gonna go buy the two by fours, but now, here's not the way to properly do it, but here in a second, I will put pictures of how people are doing it with the two by four so you get a better illustration of how it works because I worked the next like four or five days, quite a few 24 hour shifts in there. So I won't be able to put out that stuff here anytime real soon, but I will give you an update of the proper way to do it later. But for right now, we'll put some pictures. Tell us what you think about finally getting the drainage dish over there. The proper way to do that when I put the boat, pictures up there you need to do it two by fours this stuff is great material but you need to nail it to two by fours that it frames out between the ground and the bottom of the camper but i hope you all enjoyed the video if you did please give it a big thumbs up stop by for the first time please subscribe more content to come especially with that little guy i think we're gonna go ahead and take it all the way out there in the woods to see what it can really do well just fyi guys my wife while i was at work for a good old 24-hour shift actually made the cheaper version work she which sissy watched the little brother for a little bit actually got it all done but the problem was when i was trying to do it is every single time we just put it together there's always something to do so we leave before taping it up or anything and then boom when we come through just bust it all up but i'll still show you some pictures here in just a minute of the way that we were going to do it but this is literally only for like two three months tennessee is typically not a windy area where we're at and it gets maybe to 20. Like, if we was going, like, negative degrees, we would obviously put a whole lot better setup on it. But it really doesn't get all that cold here in northeast Tennessee. 